congenital heart disease. Is a heart abnormality usually present at birth? And most often, it requires surgery and a lifetime of medical care. In an open heart surgery, they leave the chest open at first, and there's a clear plastic bandage that covers the chest. And we were new parents. We had been at the highest of highs and then the lowest of lows. And after this surgery, looking over your child with an open chest and his heart beating with a mix of emotions saying, thank God this child is alive. Thank God for the medical miracle and the surgeon's hands that could do this. But also the mix of fright and horror and is this heart going to stop and the feeling of helplessness about being a parent watching your your son go through this there are many parents in this room who've been through that and saving tiny hearts is about helping other parents to avoid going through that My daughter Grace uh, has a rare, two rare genetic conditions and that resulted in a couple of heart defects which uh, were repaired when she was four months old and she was never supposed to live past uh, one year of life and she just turned six. Charles Tillman of Chicago Bears. I'd like to uh, first off take this time to say thank you for considering Saving Tiny Heart Society for your charity job. But not only that, I'd like to commend you for your efforts in supporting a good cause. This cause is also near and dear to me as, as well. Uh, my daughter Tiana received a heart transplant back in 2008 and congenital heart disease is the number one birth defect in America and it affects over 40,000 kids a year. Research for the hands that heal, the tiny hearts that change our lives for the very best. <laughs>